I went to Göttingen in Germany, where I'm going to be working with a guy called Gerhard Steidel, uh -huh. publishing a number of books. And the first one will be a republication of this. That's the first one of mine that was published, yes. Uh -huh. I did two major essays in the 1960s, one on Afrikaners and one on the dying gold mines. And this is the... The other one, the, the Afrikaners, has been republished, so we'll only do that one perhaps in six or seven years' time. Look at the first part of this book. It's heavily weighted in favour of graphic impact. Okay? What do you mean by that? I mean, it's graphic. It's, it, it, it hits you in the eye and in the gut. Um, these are bleed pages, double page spread. I, I wouldn't dream of putting a picture across the gutter now. I would only confine it to one page. I mean, that's a graphic picture. It is very graphic, yes. Uh, I mean, here's a photograph that I've reprinted, and it's, it's quite lovely because it has a mind dump here, and I've softened the contrast. I mean, in those days, I was one of the world's major consumers of what was called Ag for Number no. 6. Ag for Number no. 6 paper was extremely harsh. Was it contrast? High contrast. Uh -huh. So there's a high contrast graphic picture cropped. Uh, I shot that on lithofilm. I mean, that's mad, because lithofilm is, gives you almost no margin at all for, the, for um, uh, exposure variation. You get it right or not. So if you get it right, then you get a lovely sense of tactile quality. That's a concession store. That's the kind of shop that many Jewish families in South Africa started their, their life in. Hmm. Where was this actually? This was on one of the gold mines on the East Rand. Mm -hmm. So these concession stores were where the black miners shopped. I laid that out with, in black pages, which I would never do today. Why? Because I don't think it works. It's gimmicky. Mm. And then we go to the next section, where I had become extremely conservative. <laughs> Um, now, what do you mean by I that? had undergone a sort of Damascus moment where it took a year or two, but that moment, but I had become extremely conservative. One picture to a spread, caption on one side, picture on the other, lots of white space. Nothing bleed, no bleed pictures, no, no, nothing across the gutter. So this so, is all within the space of one book? And this is all in the that, space of one book. Right, it's, it's, it's schizophrenic. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to change that radically. Helen Pocky strangled her son of 20 years old and killed him. She, he was, he became addicted to, she was a woman who was raped and molested from the age of four. Almost, con you know, right through her life until she was 29 years old. She had I think two children, and this son was the product of a rape. Mm. But she loved him dearly. And he became addicted to a drug called Tuk, so that he robbed, he robbed them of everything to the point where he, he robbed the copper tubing of their plumbing in the house. Mm. He took their curtains, he took, he took everything. And she eventually reached a stage of total despair, and she strangled him, killed him. And she's a very fine person. Um, lovely woman. This is a back room that she used, that she built for him. It's in the backyard of the house. This is the bed on which she strangled him. Oh my God. So, in this series of photographs, I'm photographing people who have been in trouble with the law and at the scene of crime. At the scene of crime is a very important part right. of it. When I do these portraits, mm -hmm. I'm concerned with two things. The one is to make a... a um, a portrait of the person, mm -hmm. um, and if possible one that has some resonance with the life-changing events that took place there. And then I want in, the, in these photographs some evidence of the place, mm -hmm. the scene of crime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is my most recent one. This is a young girl of 15 who did some shoplifting in Cape Town. And, um, uh, she wasn't sentenced to jail. The court to, uh, committed her to doing a course of rehabilitation 
with an organization that has been introducing me to people. The area in which it stands is uh, very difficult photographically. Not that I'm afraid of difficult situations, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I am aware that some situations are just not going to yield a photograph right. that I can use. So I took her outside this shopping center, which is in the center of Cape Town, and did a series of her here. And I favor this one because, because it has a sense of, of the life of the area. Mm -hmm. It has a sense of the city, which is very much what this is. And I think it conveys quite a strong sense of the girl. Mm. You know, she's, she's, she's deeply affected by what has happened.